Greetings everyone, in this video we will be looking at NCA level 3 probability distributions achievement standard. For this achievement standard, you will need to be familiar with uh, five different types of um, uh, distributions, including the expectation algebra. And in my previous videos, I've already covered um, the uh, discrete distributions binomial and Poisson, and uh, the continuous distribution, uh, which was a normal distribution. If you haven't already, please do check those videos out. And in this video, I'll be focusing on a continuous uh, uniform distribution. So we'll have a look at the characteristics of um, uniform uh, distribution. You've already seen uh, from the previous flow chart that it is a continuous uh, probability distribution. And uh, each value for random variable uh, is equally likely to occur. And it also describes a random variable with a finite number of values uh, from A to B. And these are the two parameters uh, which are minimum and uh, maximum. And the graph of a uniform distribution is a rectangle as uh, shown below. So if you've got the um, x and y axis, so you've got random variable x and then the uh, probability density function f of x. And uh, you're given the minimum value, which is a and the maximum value. So only two pieces of information is given, the minimum and the maximum. And we are assuming that uh, each variable is uh, equally likely to occur. So we have got a horizontal line. And uh, note that the area underneath this um, will denote the probability and uh, the total area will be equal to 1. As you already know that the area of a rectangle is given by base times height. And in this case, the base of this rectangle is uh, from A to B. And the distance here will be B minus A. So base is given by B minus A. And uh, then uh, we can substitute this to find the height of this uh, rectangular distribution. So the total area will be 1. So 1 is equal to uh, base, which is B minus A, times the height. And we can use this to find the height of this uh, rectangular distribution. So quickly rearrange. It's multiplied by h so we'll make h the subject so i will divide both sides by b minus a so height is equal to 1 over b minus a and that's the uh, height value and once i've got that then the probability density function can be written as f of x which is equal to 1 over b minus a if x is greater than or equal to a and less than or equal to b remember this f of x is the height of the uh, rectangle is not that uh, the height value will be um, zero if x is less than a and if x is greater than uh, b the height value is also zero so if you're given uh, a um, rectangular distribution and you are finding the area shaded between uh, C and D, then uh, we can see that uh, the shaded part will give you the probability. And the probability for the random variable X between C and D is given by the base times the height of that uh, rectangle. So we can see that the base will be given by D minus C. And the height is given by 1 over B minus A. So if I put that together, so base is D minus C for the rectangle that uh, I'm after, times the height, which is 1 over B minus A, is uh, shown earlier. And if I quickly simplify this, I will get the probability, which is given by D minus C, whole thing divided by B minus A. And this is the probability. You don't need to remember this formula, by the way. You can just use uh, area of rectangle is given by base times height. And uh, just work out the base of this uh, rectangle. And then multiply by the height. You'll get the um, correct probability. Hope this makes sense. I would suggest you can pause the video and uh, take notes as you go. In the next video, we'll look at an example of a uniform uh, distribution. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.